हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय इंजीनियरिंग हब डिसनेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट ओ डब्ल्यू एस स्टार्टिंग प्रोसीजर इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइन बाय लाइन दैट हाउ यू आर गोन स्टार्ट अ ओ डब्ल्यू एस बाई वन बाई वन मेथड सो फ्रेंड दो आर वॉचिंग द वीडियो फर्स्ट टाइम आई वॉन्ट टेल यू मरी इंजीनियर प्लेटफॉर्म विच मेक वीडियो लाइक दिस विच विल बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन oral and for interview purpose and also for the shipboard operation so please to like share and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon friend those who are giving me your class 4 class 2 class 1 exam i want to tell you to please take the membership in nominal fees and you can find a lot of video which will be beneficial for your examination written or oral purpose so let's start the today video of ows starting procedure So friend if in the examination they ask you what is a OWS so in one word if they say what is an OWS so you should say an OWS is a filtering marpole equipment so what is that filtering marpole equipment so why you use word marpole because it is a one of the principal equipment as per the marpole because it prevent marine pollution so how it is preventing marine pollution so the ows is ensuring that all the bilge water which has been collected on board in ship in the engine room is passed through this ows filtering equipment to ensure that its oil content is less than 15 ppm it means that in 1 million particles of water the oil content should be only 15 okay 15 part per million so this is the regulation of the marpole so basically now how you are going to start the ows will on line by line procedure today we will try to understand so if you want to know about the line diagram you can watch the last video you can find the link in the description in today video we will talk about the starting procedure so let's see first the principal part equipment which are in the ows the first thing is the bilge holding tank where all the bilges which are produced on board is collected here this is the bilge pump this is the ows first chamber this is the second chamber this is the 15 ppm bilge alarm monitor which look like this first chamber second chamber and 15 bilge pump alarm monitor and this is the alarm panel or this is the bilge pump starting panel showing like this here pump discharge second stage pressure discharge back pressure and the various alarm which can show here now electrical heater is a optional feature which is provided for a density increase in density difference to ensure a smooth separation between the oil and the water so before starting the ows the first thing you should see that there should be no alarm in the panel everything is switch off condition after that this overhead valve this overhead valve is basically enclosed in a box this overhead valve is enclosed in a box and it is locked in normal condition so when you are going to start the ows you have to take the key from chief engineer and master it is locked by two key one key is with the chief engineer and one key is up with the master so when you are taking the both key it means it is been in the knowledge of chief engineer and master that you are going to operate the ows so basically OWS is operated under the supervision of a chief engineer by keeping master in loop so that he also know that OWS is operation now OWS is operated first you have to open this box and you have to open the overhead valve so you have to open the overhead valve before opening the overhead valve first what you will do you will make sure that the bilge pump breaker is on after that make sure that the 
alarm monitor 15 ppm bilge alarm monitor separator is on and 15 ppm alarm monitor is on so you switch on the three thing bilge pump 15 ppm bilge separator and bilge alarm monitor after that you will now open this overboard valve so we have to open the overboard valve so this overboard valve we have opened it before opening the overboard valve one more thing we have to do is that we have to drain this OWS unit so basically here the vent of the OWS is provided and there is a drain is provided so basically what we will do we will open this seawater and the seawater from the sea chest will come here and it will flow like this and it will go to the first chamber first and after the first chamber get filled up it will come out from here and from here it will go to the second chamber and then second chamber get filled up it will come out from here and we will flush this chamber also by here so now you can see this three valve is been opened so first what we are doing we are opening the seawater and after opening the seawater we are opening this three valve and we are draining it we are draining it so that the system is getting flushed after the flushing we will switch off the system this three valve will close and then we will open this overboard valve now you see this overboard valve is open now what we are done till now we have opened the seawater inlet we have flushed the system by opening this three unit and after that we have closed this unit and now it is filled with the seawater and now we have opened the overboard valve after that we will activate the 15 bpm bilge alarm by switching on the breaker and then we will press the start button to make it on then we will open the fresh water and control air to ensure the supply is continuous there after that now we will start the 15 ppm bilge pump so we will start the 15 ppm bilge pump and the electrical heater if it is provided now what will happen the sea water will go from here which has just because of pressure flush it now it will flow with the pressure and it will go like this so from here it is going like this just follow the arrow it is going to the first chamber after first chamber it is coming out and then it is going from here to second chamber second chamber going out and then it's coming out like this and here it is going and through this now you want see here this is the green light lit here it means this direction so it will go like this and it is going overboard now if you monitor carefully here before the pump was stopped no discharge when the pump has started the discharge is showing green color now one more thing you need to take care is that these three this three-way valve this is a very important thing this three-way valve opening and opening direction is decided based on this bilge alarm monitor this bilge alarm monitor is continuously getting a sampling from the discharge is going out and it will monitor from this sampling unit that the bilge water which is going overboard is having less than 15 ppm or not if the ppm is less than 15 ppm it will give the signal to continue to open in this direction and it will go like this overboard but if you find out that the it is more than 15 ppm it will divert the flow from here to this direction and go back to the bill holding tank so what we have done till now we have opened the seawater we have flushed the line by draining it this three valve then we have switched on the breaker and we have started the build alarm monitor and we have switched start button after that we have switched on the electrical heater and we have switched on the electrical bilge pump now after the pump is started the system is getting seawater out from this line now we will close this seawater and we will open this build holding tank so you will see 24.29 is now, now sounding now as soon as you open the build holding it is getting reduced 
to it now bilge water is going from here and it is going like this again here it is going to a first chamber in first chamber it will go and then it passed to second chamber and after second chamber it will go like this and then it will go out from here to the overboard if the sampling unit which is here is less than 15 ppm you will see here 24.28 now 24.26 it means it is working and it is reducing now we have to maintain a back pressure we have to maintain a back pressure how much back pressure we have to maintain we have to maintain back pressure of 1.5 to 2 bar now you can see here the pump when started the pressure is around 2.2 and back pressure is something around 2.2 the bilge which is going is not right now 3.9 and the temperature because of electrical heater is now 56.5 now there is no alarm in the panel now if you open the fresh water instead of sampling it to trying to manipulate the bilge alarm monitor what will happen let's see if you open fresh water in running what will happen we have opened the fresh water as soon as you open just see here and here we have first now close as soon as you open see fresh water what is happening this direction is been change over to the bilge holding tank side and alarm is coming first water open it means that you cannot play with this you have to send only sampling from here and after monitoring the sampling only then only he will allow the flow to this direction if the fresh water is open in the while undergoing the operation it will divert the flow to the bilge holding tank now after the bilge holding tank is emptied as per your desired direction you close this valve and again open the seawater inlet valve why to flush the system again it will flush the same way and after first second and then it will flush out the remaining thing which is in the line and then you can stop the pump and then you can stop the bilge monitor stop the heater and stop the close the valve so friend if we say in synopsis that how this OWS is lined up and how it is work is that in simple way we can say that first we have to open the seawater we have to open and drain it after draining make sure that all the breaker of P ppm bilge alarm electrical heater and bilge pump separator is on and after that start the heater start the bilge alarm and after that open the overboard valve now after doing that start the pump and with the seawater open will flush the system and it will go overboard in, and now it will monitor from the sampling unit everything is okay now when everything is okay and it's showing less than ppm then you open this bilge holding tank line and close this line and the bilge will start to get pump out while doing that you have to monitor the pump discharge pressure and the back pressure you have to keep around 1.8 to 2.2 bar now after the operation is complete you have to first stop the pump sorry don't stop the pump you have to first close the bilge holding tank valve open the seawater valve and let the system again flush out and after that stop the pump then stop the electrical heater stop the bilge alarm and then stop the close the overboard and secure it and give the key to the master and chief engineer now one more thing I want to tell you is that about the importance of this valve this is the recirculation valve this recirculation valve is basically provided for wetting and PSC inspection whenever the ship is coming to port they will tell you to start the OWS and demonstrate whether your 15 ppm alarm is working properly or not and this is a three-way valve is working properly or not so what you will do you will same line up either with the seawater or bilge holding tank and now as you are in port you cannot open this overboard line so what you will do you will close this overboard line and open this valve now when the alarm is less than 15 ppm the water will flow from this direction 
instead of going overboard it will go through this and go back to the build holding tank but if alarm is more than 15 ppm it will flow from this now what they will see that whether with the alarm the flow direction is changed or not if it is changed it means that the alarm motor is working fine after that they will see when the flow is from suppose from this direction in this case the water should not leak from here and when the flow is from this direction the water should not flow from here to ensure that the this three way integrity is properly maintained so friend